Welcome back. In this video, I'll show you how you can update the menu on your website. So when you install your theme, you're going to have a generic menu which comes with the theme installation, but what you want to do is customize that theme to make sure it's showing the pages that are valuable to your affiliate website. So to update the menu, you need to log into the back end of your website, then go to appearance, and then go to menus. And what you see on this right side under menu structure, well, this is pretty much everything that is showing in the menu. So these ones that are appearing in red, these are invalid as these were pages that did used to exist when I installed the theme. However, when I was cleaning up the theme and removing any pages I didn't want, those pages were still attached to the menu, which is why they say invalid. So if you look at this one right here, which says unique pages, this one is not appearing in red. And if you go over to my home page, you can see in the menu, we have unique pages. So pretty much if you see any in red, just quickly expand it and remove it as really and truly they're not gonna be shown in your menu anyway. To update the menu, you need to log into the back end of your WordPress dashboard, go over to appearance and then click menus. Once loaded, you'll see a section on the right hand side under menu structure and pretty much anything you see listed here, this is what is showing in your current menu. For example, you can see we have one page right here for unique pages, and there's also a drop down within that menu linking to user profile. So we go over to our home page, we have unique pages. It's a drop down menu and it links to user profile. We also have another option in the menu for page layouts, and it links to another three pages in a drop down menu. So that would be this section right here in the back end. We know these are drop downs within that menu. As you can see, they're not quite in line with the main menu right here. They are in a section. However, if you wanted these to be as a main menu, you could literally just go to the right hand side, expand, and then click this option right here, out from under, and that will then move it back to the higher level, and this will be its own dedicated option in the menu. However, we don't want any of these pages in our menu, so I'm gonna quickly go ahead and just remove them all. And then what I want to do is add my money pages and a page to my blog in the menu. So I've got three pages on the money site in total. We can actually see them from right here, the most recent pages, as are the most recent pages I've built. However, if you don't see them in your most recent, you can just go to view all and that will show you all the pages and blogs on your website. Or you can simply go to search and carry out a search for the page you are looking for. So I'm gonna to go to view all and I'm gonna find those pages. So it's this one right here, 10 best table saw blades. That is a money piece of content. We've got this one right here, best table saws. And then we've got the best portable table saw. So I'm gonna select them all and then add them to the menu. Then if we go back to the drop down menu, we can go to navigation label. And this is basically the text which is going to display in the menu on the home page. So you don't wanna have a really long label because it's gonna take up so much space, especially when you have multiple items in your menu. So what I recommend you do is you actually rename this to something more short and concise and make it a bit more user friendly too. So as this page is all about the 10 best table saw blades reviewed, I can literally call this table saw blade guide. I think sounds pretty good as it's a guide like so, and then we'll get rid of that. That then resolves that one. And the second one, table saw reviews. Uh, I can call this table saw guide again, as it's a buying guide, right? Delete that, that's not needed. And then the last one will be portable table saw guide. And we'll get rid of the S on saws and remove that. There we have it. And lastly, what I want to do is add my blog page to the menu. So if I scroll up, we've got a blog right here, add it to menu. But what I'm gonna do is rename it to resources as that sounds better suited to the niche I am working in. So once you're happy with your menu, go ahead and click save menu. I'm gonna just go over to breeze and then purge all my cache just to make sure all those old changes have gone from the website. Now if I go and visit the website, you will see our menu has now updated. We've got table saw blade guide, which if I go ahead and open that in a new tab, you will see it links to our money page of content for the best table saws. Very nice piece of content indeed. It's exactly the same for the other two. Table saws guide, should probably take S off that so it says table saw guide, but no worries. Then we've got portable table saw guides and then resources, which of course will link to the blog and will list out all of the topically relevant blog posts we have published on the website. 
These other two things you're seeing at the top in the menu, this little drop down icon right here and submit a review. I definitely want to go ahead and remove these as again, these came with the theme and they're not relevant to my niche affiliate site whatsoever. So to remove these, they're not actually done through the menu settings. This is going to be in the theme option settings. Again, it's going to be different depending on what theme you're doing, but just make sure you go ahead and remove those. If you're having any issues, feel free to shoot a message to your theme support, the place where you purchase the theme from, and they should be able to guide you and get those removed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.